graphing a sine function. Find the amplitude, the period, the phase shift, then graph the equation y equals 3 sine of 2x plus pi halves. All right, let's start with this. How do we find the amplitude? What is amplitude? Amplitude is given by what? It's given by absolute A. That's uh, We have the absolute value of 3, which is equal to 3. So amplitude is 3. Then we want the period, and period is given by what? 2 pi over absolute B, so it's absolute B, which is 2 pi over 2, right? So the period is equal to is equal to pi. So far, this is going pretty well, isn't it? Then it says the phase shift. There's a couple ways to write phase shift. Um, the easiest way to write phase shift is that phase shift is equal to the opposite of C over B. So C is pi halves, and it's opposite, so we'll call it negative, over B, and B is 2. Here's B right here, isn't it? So if you look at this as a complex fraction, it, this 2 would be 2 over 1, wouldn't it? So this would be negative pi force. Can everybody say I got that for phase shift? Is that okay, Kelsey? All right. So this would be the phase shift. So PS is pay, phase shift. So phase shift would equal this. Because we're going to graph this, we want to know we need an interval containing one cycle of this. And to do that, we would say that bx plus c is less than or equal to 2 pi, and bx plus c is greater than or equal to 0. And we just fill in our blanks here, if you don't mind. So we have 2x plus pi halves is less than or equal to. And because we have pi halves, I'm going to write this as 4 halves pi. Is that all right? I'll do that conversion there, Cassie. Is that all right? is greater than or equal to 0. So far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. Solving for x here. I'm going to add negative pi halves everywhere. So we'll get negative pi halves is less than or equal to 2x, and 2x is less than or equal to negative 3 pi halves. So far, so good? Yep. 4 halves pi because it's 2 pi, and I knew I was going to be, I knew I was going to move this pi halves here, so I just turned my 2 pi into 4 halves pi, just converting the fraction. Is that all right? That's a good question. Um, so, so far, so good? Yeah. Oh, it is. Thanks, Pat. Yep. So that's positive. Yeah, that's and that's really important. Otherwise, when I do my test in a second, I'm going to fail, right? So, right, so this is positive. <coughs> <coughs> Lastly, I'm going to divide everything by 2, aren't I? Because I want, just want x here by itself. I'm going to divide here by 2. And, right, to divide by 2 is to multiply by 1 half. Isn't that right? Pat, is it good? Is that right? So we get negative pi fourth is less than or equal to x, and x is less than or equal to 3 pi fourth. And if you look at this for a second, can anybody tell what's the distance here? If I was to draw a line from here to here, from pi fourth, from negative pi fourth to 3 pi fourth, how far would I go? Pi. Why is that important? Because that's the period. It's exactly right, isn't it? Right. So in a way, I'm what I'm doing also is I'm proving that I have the period correct, right? Right. Because here we said that the period was pi, so this value is proven here. So now all I'm going to do is this. I'm going to draw this sine curve here. I'm just going to draw a sine curve. So here's my sine curve here. 
right? So one cycle of the sine curve, right? Notice I don't have any values here. And then I'm going to put the, the values in. And what is this, what is this value right here going to be? Anthony? Yeah, negative pi fourths. Negative pi fourths. And what's this value right here going to be? Say that again. Kevin? Yeah, 3 pi fourths. 3 pi fourths. And we got those values from right here, didn't we? Got those values from this value right here. Because that one right there. And this value right here goes right here, doesn't it? Right? We know that the amplitude is you know, the amplitude is 3. So what's this height right here? What's this height here? Mitchell? 3. And this minimum height over here, Mitchell, is negative 3, isn't it? Right? And what's this value right here? Because I want an intermediate value right here. I want this midpoint value right here. What is this value right here? Shannon? Because I want at least three landmarks. I want this one, this one, and I at least want the middle one. What is it? It's not, this is not pi, is it? How do you figure that out? How do you, what is midpoint theorem? Michael? Add the two endpoints. So I'm, I'm just going to, they have the same denominator, so I'm just going to add the top piece. I'm, so I'm going to take this 3 pi, 3 pi, right, plus negative pi, which is what? 2 pi. Then I'm going to divide by 2, right? That's midpoint, right? Divided by 2 is equal to what? Pi. And I'm going to put it back over the thing. So this is pi fourth right here, isn't it? So... Anybody want to hazard a guess? What's the point between here and what's the point between negative pi force and pi force? I'm only yeah, I'm only interested in that one because it's a really interesting point, isn't it? It's zero right here, isn't it? So I can take that, look Pat, and I can get this. You don't have to you don't have to take this, but it's just kind of interesting, isn't it? Isn't that right? Isn't that what this graph looks like? And I guess I should rearrange this a little bit to make this a little bit more obvious. This, this three, I'm going from here. I'm saying that's three right there, and this is three right here. Okay. Any questions about that? Yeah. From that value, right? So, it, right, if there was a k value here, then it would be, if it was 2 here, it would be start at 2 and you go up 3 from there. And if it was, right, and then, so it was up 3 from there and it would be down 3 from that k value, right? In this case, the k value is 0. So it's 0 plus 3 and then 0 minus 3. Yep. Here? Because I was kind of cheating a little bit. All I was doing here is, because I knew the denominators were the same, all I was doing was using the top values, right? I was adding these two values, and I was figuring out what the new numerator was going to be. Is that all right? Okay. okay. So I hope you'll watch this video. Also, when you watch the video, please remember I'm reminding you on the video, stop the video, make sure you get it, rewind the video. Um, actually, Stop the video, try to do the work, and then play the video.